Okay, so we have now slowed down to about one frame a second. That's encouraging. This was a mistake. Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, or TABS as it is better known. This is uh, really in just game preview right now, so we're just uh, playing around, experimenting. Basically what you can do is set up these large scale battles, tinker around with it. I guess there's also a campaign mode, but frankly, I just think it's more fun to just go straight into the sandbox mode. As you can see, we basically could take our units and have them go in and attack each other. You can see that this is uh, highly realistic. This is one of the most realistic simulators yet on the market. And you know that it's completely accurate because, I mean, just look at those faces. That's pretty impressive. But what we're actually going to do today on the show is to go through a few very important scenarios and... I'm just warning you right now, spoiler, there might be some wheelbarrows. But first, let's take the Magnificent Seven, which we are lining up against the... Uh, I guess the Army of the Dead. Yeah, that's what happened in the Magnificent Seven, right? Did anyone see the movie? Old or new? Okay, and as you can see, the Magnificent Seven kind of can do a Matrix style, like uh, back. Uh, you know, bullet time thing. Oh, okay, that was, uh, way easier than I thought it would be. Round two, let's see if you can recreate that. I mean, we've got, like, skeleton archers and everything, and, uh, oh, oh, okay, so not recreatable. We are back with the Magnificent Seven that you can see right here. In order to answer an age-old question that I'm sure you always had, cowboys versus pirates. Okay, folks, here we go. Go Denzel Washington! Star-Lord! Star-Lord, you can't let the pirates win! Jack Sparrow won. How about if we try Splinter versus the Ninja Turtles? This, this is a good idea. Let's try this. Here. Okay. All right, now this is experience versus numbers, so let's just see. Okay, yeah, the students have become the master. All right, but what if there were two splinters? Oh, okay, okay, we're starting now. It's strong. Whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened there? Whoa. This is Daenerys Targaryen and her dragons versus the Ninja Turtles. Come on, get in there. Don't let the flames hit. Well, that was sad. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just do one dragon, cause dragons are apparently pretty powerful. Let's. Okay, here we go. And uh, okay, dragons are OP. Now let us create the Battle of Winterfell. Alright, so we've got the Night King's army, and we of course have the whole dragons, and we got the archers and the catapults and everything. This is, you know, one of the few highlights from Season 8. So, uh, let's see what ha- okay, yeah, alright, a couple dragons are down. Uh, so far this feels very realistic. Again, very realistic game here. All right, yeah, that that checks out. Oh shoot, she only had the two dragons. That's right, she only had the two dragons. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. I, let's see if the dragon makes all the difference. Okay, Night King is definitely faring better. Yep, this is this is definitely going better. For, uh, uh, all right. These archers really just don't do anything, dude. They stand there and wait to get killed. Okay. Now it's all the pirates versus all the ninjas. The ninja turtles have help now. So full compliment. 
it, this, is, this is gonna be good. They walk really weird, don't they? That's not encouraging. Ninja Star. Ninja Stars versus Muskets. This is very interesting. I mean, from a historical perspective, I think that this is very informative for us. Okay, pi pirates still win that. Um... All right, you can notice that I have an even 1500 for each team here So, you know, this is this is technically fair. I do love the fact that uh, this game literally I just don't have to do anything once you start the battle There's nothing for you to do you just wait for the battle to be over and I like that kind of passive video gaming uh, it's something that you don't see in a lot of games and um, maybe because you know, it's a it's a preferred style, you know, not actually playing. All right, so we have a farmer and uh, Ooh, a scarecrow. Oh, that's too scary. That scarecrow is too scary. You know what we're gonna do? Get rid of him. Wheelbarrow. Okay. Farmer versus wheelbarrow. Okay. That... Wow. <laughs> okay, the wheelbarrow is a little more effective than I thought. Okay, let's give you some help. These people are in hay bales, so that gives them a great advantage. Okay. Uh, wow. There. Here's a, here's a whole bunch of these to deal with, wheelbarrow. There. Run them over. <laughs> This is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Yeah, get him, get him, hay bale. Oh, oh, the hay bales are taking him. Yeah, strike the numbers. Okay, the final OP war has got to be dragon versus wheelbarrow. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Dragon come out strong. Whoa, wow. That's uh, <laughs> um, okay. Who predicted that the wheelbarrow would be coming out so strong here? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's the shocker of this video. Wheelbarrow beat the dragon. So inevitably, we're gonna have to try this. Um, 30 wheelbarrows versus 30 dragons. And oh no. This this game is now running at one frame a second. This is apparently very hardware heavy. I don't know if it's because it's not compressed very well or if, I mean, the stunning graphic quality of the game uh, has to take up a lot of rendering power, but, I mean, as you can see, I mean, realistic physics, too. There's, there's a, boy, this is gonna take a while. Okay, let's see if we can maybe just speed this up here. Okay, that's slightly better. Let's just make it very fast here. <laughs> Eight times speed, let's just get this over with. Okay, and it looks like, uh, okay, the dragons aren't that powerful. And finally, we start Wheelbarrow Wars. There we go. Let's just take a closer look at the action down here. Um, okay, uh... This is kind of a sad note to end the video on, but, um... <laughs> Reminds me of that scene in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Bring Out Your Dead. It feels like what this whole game was kind of modeled on. <laughs> Alright, folks, that was apparently Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, so... This is gonna take a while, uh... And now, prepare for Cactus Wars. Yeah, that's right. This is like that part that nobody remembers from Shaq Fu. Anyone play Shaq Fu? Just me, huh? Anyway, Shaq gets to dress up like a cactus at one point. 
probably better you didn't know about that. And here we are. The final battle. A complete army of cactus against another complete army of cactus. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, it, it, this is... 16 times the graphic quality. This is... This is horrifying. If you have any kids in the room, please avert their eyes. No one should see this level of cactus on cactus uh, violence. This is the kind of thing that gets uh, video games put on the docket and Congress. We can't, we can't allow this. Succulents are our friends, not our foes. Okay, and okay. Good job, Red. <laughs>